So have you made your feet really angry today? Because after a long day of standing or wearing uncomfortable heels, I bet your feet are probably screaming at you. Well, that's why we're joined by podiatrist Dr. Rondrick Williamson, who's from Atlanta, Georgia. And we're gonna take a look at our first foot topic. All right, here's a question for you. Which do you think is harder on your knees? Walking in high heels or running in athletic shoes? The answer might surprise you. So since I don't walk in high heels, I'm hoping you're gonna tell me that's what's worse for you. Actually, let's take a look at this. There was a study done that looked at about 68 patients and mind you, about 37 of those were female patients. And they found that you get increased strain on the ankle joint, the knee, and up as high as the hip when you're wearing an athletic shoe, running in an athletic shoe as opposed to wearing or walking in a high heel shoe. Now, is it the particular type of running shoe or? Well, not necessarily. What happens in a running shoe is that there is extra padding in the heel and in the arch area, which causes you to touch down on your heel when you're running. Now, in a barefoot population or an unshod population, we typically put most of the pressure on the balls of our feet, on the metatarsal heads, which is what is normally supposed to occur. So by placing a lot of pressure on the heel area, some of the, the shock is absorbed, but a lot of it is absorbed in the ankle joint, the knee, and the hip joint. Now, over time, that causes stress on the cartilage. So you get problems with motion. So typically, if you're in, a, in an athletic shoe, you're gonna land on your heel like this. Right. But if you're walking barefoot, you, you're gonna land on the, the balls of your foot, which is natural. And the foot actually acts like it should, which is a natural shock absorbing mechanism. And so as we see the individual is running in the athletic shoes, and we see the highlighted areas where they're putting extra torque, especially in the ankle joint and the knee joint. So over time, this causes extreme pain and discomfort. So you gotta watch the way you're using these shoes, right? Exactly. And, and so some people are wearing these shoes now that mimic walking barefoot. What's your theory you, you on You know those? what? I, these Some people. Yeah, Some yeah. People like our doctors. Close, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our close friend here. The premise behind this is that your foot naturally, walking barefoot, is a natural shock absorber. The, the arch is gonna absorb the shock, the ankle and all that is gonna absorb, absorb the shock. So this mimics what you would be if you were walking just barefoot. Yeah. Um, the only thing it does is really protect your foot from the elements. Yeah, and you know, my son, he's, he's running track in high school. He was having some knee pain, mm -hmm. and the, the coach said, well, for a while, let's have you just run barefoot on the grass in the, in the midfield there, and it helped him a lot. Mm -hmm. So then we kind of then moved him into pairs that kind of like these, right. and he's been running in these for a while, and it's so far, so good. Right. Have you ever tried the barefoot shoes? I have never tried the barefoot shoes. You know, I'm from Chicago, so I'm imagining running down the street or walking down the street <laughs> yeah, of yeah. Chicago with a barefoot shoe, and now mm -hmm. I have a piece of glass in my oh. foot. 